Okay, here we are looking in the medial compartment on the right knee. We're just getting started. There's some, maybe some minimal fraying on the radial edge here. We're going to turn on the suction because that allows us to irrigate so we can ultimately see a little bit better. And this meniscus on the inside looks pretty, again, that's that little area. There's maybe a little bit of fraying. The shaver here has suction on it. So if there's anything that's truly unstable, it'll come right to the shaver there. But that actually looks pretty good. The articular surfaces are a different story. You can see some see some changes on the femoral condyle up above here. Uh, trying to demonstrate that better for you. Here you can see right here where the cartilage here is a little bit roughened up and not smooth anymore. We're just going to work on the margins and make sure there's nothing loose. We'll show you some more in just a little bit. Can I get okay, so now we're getting ready to look in the middle part of the knee. The most remarkable thing is there's a lot of inflammation in the knee. This fat pad here is pretty inflamed, very vascular. And um, right now we're going to just take a look and see what we can determine about the ACL and the uh, PCL ligaments. First, we're going to get a little bit of hemostasis here. Okay, we'll show you some more in just a minute. Okay, as we start to get a better picture in the lateral compartment, we can see that this is where there's even more arthritis or, or arthritic change or more arthritis than on the medial side. You're essentially missing all the cartilage from a large portion of the femoral condyle up above, which we can see there. And then you've got obviously some very degenerative meniscal tearing going on here too. It's very vascular, so we're just going slowly trying to control the bleeding as we go, but, but uh, but this cartilage here, as we get to the margins of it, it's not very stable. And so we'll do our best on this for you. But you can see how some of these are about to be loose pieces here. Show you some more in just a little bit. Okay, we're finishing up in the lateral compartment. There's really not much more to do other than remove the obviously loose cartilage and to trim back the meniscus a little bit if there's areas that seem like they're potentially causing symptoms in the joint. And I think we've done that now. We're going to look in the patellofemoral joint next. Okay, so we're looking here at the patella at the top of the screen. And as you would suspect, there's areas where it's missing a fair amount of cartilage also. As we come down the trochlea, the trochlea is not too bad here. But again, the most remarkable thing is the incredible vascularity. And that's just your, your knee's been trying really hard to deal with this problem. And it's been very inflamed. And the joint capsule or synovium has been very inflamed here. And here we are just trying to control that a little bit for you. We'll look over here on the lateral side. We'll show you some more in a little bit. Okay, we're just about done on the right knee here. So I show you, we've tried to get things under control here with a little bit of bleeding from the vascularity. Okay. And then back down to the front of the knee. Uh, 
That's looking a lot better. So we're going to be finishing up here, getting you back to the recovery room shortly. After we get the uh, left knee sorted out, we'll show you the video on the left knee in just a second here. But this will be it for the video on the right knee, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, so now we're looking in the left knee. This is the medial compartment of the left knee. There is a meniscal tear that's causing problems. See how that flap is loose and how that thing can move around and even with a little bit of suction, you can see how unstable it is. And so we're going to start with our shaver. And then we'll take a pair of scissors next to work on the posterior horn a little bit. But that one unstable piece is already gone, as you see there. And then we'll see if there's anything else back here that needs to be smoothed out or resected. Okay, we'll show you some more in just a little bit. Okay, so now we're getting a good look at the central part of the knee. This is the area called the notch where the cruciate ligaments are. And that looks pretty good there. We're going to make sure there's nothing in the fat pad that's bleeding here. Okay, we'll show you some more in a little bit. Okay, so now we're in the lateral compartment on the left knee. You've got a meniscal tear coming through here, right in the body. That's what we're working on right now. The articular surfaces look like they're in a little bit better shape than the lateral compartment on the right knee. So they're almost, these knees that you've got are almost mirror images. The lateral side's worse on the right knee, the medial side's worse on the left knee. Try and focus that a little bit better for us. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep working here a little bit. Uh, cutter. Okay, so now we're looking up in the patellofemoral region. There's your patella or your kneecap at the top of the screen. And there we are all the way down to the front of the knee. So looks all right. We're going to keep working here. I think this will be the actual end of the entire video because I think we're just about done on this left knee. If there's anything else interesting or that we have to do that's significant, we'll come back up on the video and show you. But otherwise, this will be it, okay? So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.